Hello guys, all. welcome to a new Let's Play. Dang, my channel is turning into a Let's Play channel. It is really what's up. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> here's a new Let's Play. It's, this is obviously Game of Thrones, if you can't read. Uh, I think a lot of you can, so... Alright. Checking for DLC. Uh, basically, every DLC except for six. And I'm downloading it. Cat, I don't want to. Uh, nah. All right, I'm all play. As you can see, I have all the episodes except for episode six because I haven't downloaded it yet. All right, episode one. I've never seen a TV show, so I'm in for the treat. <laughs> I'm not gonna read that. You guys can pause the video to read all this. Alright, I'm guessing this is like the. I'm guessing this is for like, no, this night. is a little bit after Christ. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Alright, I'm gonna pick this thing up and clean it. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Alright. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. <laughs> and I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, why not? You don't give swords like that to pig farmers. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> and in what? Capturing him. He was Whoa. nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> You think he's lying? No one never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Old Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right. Thanks. All right. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. Why are they drinking? House Tully is forever in his debt. Water. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Oh. Let your cup. The night we celebrate. All 
All right. The Rob Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, king in the north. Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods are famous. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Alright, I, I, I don't know what the heck I'm talking yes, my Lord. about. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, Who's Roderick? I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage right. at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. All right. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not oh. as a squire, <laughs> but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go. And find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Who's Roderick? Uh, it's a son, but uh, who is he? Like, where is he? Empty. Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. <laughs> I said no problem. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It would be much worse. <laughs> what the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. <laughs> See, that's why you're lucky. Yes. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. I, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My <laughs> father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this. Which is nothing. The lowest well, of the technically low. I will. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? I don't. Well, it's right I don't, over there. I don't think um. Okay. So we're in like an old timey place, like castles. Take your time. Knights and stuff like that. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm so glad to hear it. I'll take the fucking flagon already. 
What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Time to save him. What, what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? Let's go need a fucking run. They've got weapons. Who brings fucking weapons to a wedding? We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. I could do. Find a weapon quickly. A weapon? Oh, a sword. What you look like? <laughs> like the others. Guard this with your life. 
Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. It's the great sword. Damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. What the phrase says you have to go. You're welcome to the fucking dogs. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, I... By the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking foresters! All right. <laughs> We love the fray. How am I running like <laughs> Alright, that was the intro to the game. I'm guessing with her at all her problem and all the so I'm guessing it saved there. All right, now that was the intro to the game, so I'm gonna keep it to that for the first episode. And I'll, yeah, so uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys like. Next